guys, welcome to the Unpopular Opinion. I'm Kemi, Claire, Prim, Real, Raw, and, and we're saying it all. all. So this week we want to get into a conversation about money. Over our live weekend, we talked a lot about money, like a whole lot about money. I'm also courtesy of our very special sponsors, FX Pesa, who just, eh, mad shout out. They be, have believed in a lot of our stuff Dream, and yeah. are just really been part thank of. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. They really just came through. Um, so anyway, we had a lot of money conversations as content creators and then just as people mm-hmm. who are trying to do life in this world. So I wanted to revisit that that conversation about rewriting your money story. Um, if you're like me, let me not speak for this guy. If you're like me, you are really trying to rewrite because whatever I've been writing. Volongo <laughs> <laughs> like, like a child who was just doing remember, school, that's remember me. Remember those things when our teachers say, this is Volongo <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a rubber. The other one of orange rub, and blue. Yes. Yes, don't don't let pain, because they say pain. you can rub pain, <laughs> it doesn't even rub pain. No, you need to figure out an eraser. Anyway, if you're trying to rewrite, I, I don't know, we want to get into a couple of those conversations about money. Um, so rewriting your money story, let's just start with relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, what's your relationship with money? You as your own boss. Mine? Um, mine is... What would I say? Uh, I, I was going to say open, but then I realized that Ivy said that. And I, I think mine is, at the moment, I am getting to know money. Mm-hmm. Um, I am getting comfortable with money. Now, I know how to make money. Mm. I know how to make it. But whenever I make the money, it, 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 I, don't, I don't treat it well. I haven't treated it well in the past. Mm. And right now, we're getting to know each other. I'm getting to know what money likes. I'm getting to know what money, you know, wants, how it wants to be treated. To respect it. Re- yes, I'm, I'm, I'm respecting it. I am listening to it. I am everything. Submissive. I boy. am quite submissive these days. <laughs> I haven't been. I've always been. My husband's always the one who says that I will make, I will go from zero to four million in two days. From four million to zero? Yeah, and then from four to million to zero in one day. Mm. And I had, I had, I, I, I think I've said it to you guys before. I don't know yes. if I've said it on the show, but I am mm. actually an experienced, talented money spender before but as of now it's changing it's changing it's really really changing um i'm learning i have you know i am really learning money it has humbled you right? it has humbled yeah. me money can humble it has humbled <laughs> me i have been careless with it yeah. but now yeah what's your relationship with money for you guys it's like asking me what's your relationship with a man and i don't have any money <laughs> There's no relationship because the money is non-existent. I'm kidding, but anyway, it's been bad. I just it's been terrible, 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 terrible. First of all, number one, I'm really generous. Yeah, generous, generous, generous. Like, I'll be there and, like, I I just like remember this person might need like this. I'll just think this person might need money. Then I'll just be like, let me just send you three hundred k, not knowing that if you I had a million, the three hundred k has gone and yeah. it's not. Gone. Or I'll just be like, how oh, we talked recently and this friend of mine was going through this and that. So, And I'll not think of, oh, let me send 100K mm. or 50K. That is, you know, like, mm, okay, let me see if I can give you 500,000. Or let me see if I can raise it. And then, like, uh, in, the, I've, in the past, I've not planned for bills. You understand? Like, for bills ahead of mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now that's something that I'm learning. But also... I've been, I've, I've been the kind of person who prefers to invest in land because it feels safer. It it's feels safer. Know. Yes. And also, I'm very good at paying off things. Like when I have, like, when, when I don't like, when I have idle money, which is, by idle money is money that you're supposed to invest. Like, you're not doing anything. You've covered your bills. Now what? You get. But for me, I'm those people that if I don't have a target, like if I'm not, let's say, paying off a plot of land, or later I'm paying off a car or I'm paying off this bill, there's a very high chance that I will, you are waste the money. So now I want to come from being that person who wastes my, like who wastes money when they're not thinking of something. Yeah, when it's idle. Yes. When it's idle, yes, yes. yes. But also, 
uh, to now stop my impulse, I made a decision like say, um, sometime I sat myself down and my partner is very different with money. He's very respectful and careful with money and he's not like me. He's not a spendthrift like me. So I was like, you know what, let me just, like I had a conversation with him and I was like, you know what, I've realized that our finances in this relationship have been very separate and stuff. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to literally start handing over money and then I can come and ask you. So I said handing over money, like I come and say, uh, so I was paid for this and that, uh, here is one million. Uh, so I was paid for this, I'm doing this gig, and my tithe, I've removed tithe, here is the balance. I really like that. And <laughs> because I know, because I've seen him in the past, eh? there's a time that I thought, oh my God, we don't have you know, money for rent for this coming like three months and stuff. Mm. And then he paid some like, where did you get this money from? He's like, but there's, there's a time you had given me money some time back. Like, Do you remember that money you gave me? Like guys, like four months later and I had forgotten about it completely. Mm. I was like, eh, this person kept like, what you get? Planned. Like planned. they planned but and I like, forgotten. I like the fact that you have recognized your partner's yeah, strength. Because I know a lot of feminists are like, oh, you hand your money over to Now I do come and guy. hand it over. Like, like, like the other day, uh, there's a grill that I've been like dying to get. And my friend sent it to me because she's like, oh, there, someone is leaving the country and they're selling it. So she sends it to me. Obviously, the impulse in me wants to buy wanted it. to buy it. It's 270k, which I didn't have. And in my head, I even thought of like, oh, if I could get this money from anywhere, I would buy it. I've been looking for it, what, what, what. So I called him and I was like, this is the, this grill. I would really like it. Could you get it for me? And he's like, okay. Mm, okay, Let, just give it two days. In my head, I was like, what? You can give things two days? Because I'm very impulsive. I'm very, I want it and I want it now. He's like, let's give it two days. Uh, let's see. Let me get where I'm going. Then I'll see. I'll get it for you. He gets here and he's like, ha. Huh. I actually do not have money on me now. So can you ask them to please hold Wait. it? Me, I didn't even know there's a world where you tell the person, hold could it. you hold this? Because it's... Yeah. And I found myself buying things in that way and regretting it later it, that I don't even want. Then he asked me, mm. hmm, where will you put it? He's like, because I know you. And then you give it out. He used the word give it out, not sell it. Give it out. Because he has really seen do. me yeah. do that. Like he has seen me buy things. Quite use them a little bit, uh, maybe not use little, them and yeah. they are not what I wanted. Then you and then I'm like, can I give this? You guys, I gave out uh, a budget fryer. Air, air, fryer. air fryer, a brand new that one. That was no? 450k. 450k. I didn't even like Mbuse, give me a hundred or mm, give it out. Mm. So he's like, I, where will you fit it? I need to know that yeah. it's going to be there. Or when we move houses, you have it. It's going to you still will, be there. It's going to still be there. Like I, I want you to think until about it bricks. And how often are you going to use it? So now we are, right now as we speak today, because yeah. imagine I've been begging for these things since like Friday. So now I'm at the question of, mm, do I right. Need do I need it? How many times am I going to grill meat on mm. this charcoal grill? Will I have that time? Okay, where will I keep it where I won't feel where? like it's disturbing it's me cluttering. and it's cluttering and I'm going to... So now, yeah, now I have an answer to give of, I think you're right. So let, oh, I feel like let that money stay there. The what is your, your relationship with Okay, me? I'm going to talk about it. Okay. I don't want to forget that point. It brings in the thing of... Um, you, it, there was a thing I saw on Twitter. It was so nice. It was about the, the, the amount of time you spend with different people in your different seasons of life. Mm -hmm. And of course, it was, there was like this chunk of from about which age, about to which age, where the majority of your time with your partner, who, mm -hmm. that, that type of thing, and how they deeply impact all of the things mm. in your life, including money, which is something we can't run away from. Mm. So if you find someone who compliments you money wise, yeah. uh, in the money situation. It took me such a long time to recognize it, but I remember sitting down with myself and then I sat him down and I said, I'm going to let you actually plan because the times I've seen he's him a good plan, planner. he's a good planner. He, he's, he is always prepared. Like even when we met, mm. I remember that man put me through the entire COVID two years. He was taking care of my every bill to the smallest things like Vaseline and pads. Because me, I was bankrupt, bankrupt, zero, <laughs> zero, bankrupt. And I had to beg for everything. Like I couldn't believe that me, a woman who once had a job, a woman who was constructing, like I had zero in that moment. Mm. So I asked him, how come you had money through COVID? Like people were struggling with COVID what, and you could give me things. And he's and like, he eh. he's like, I never, he's like, I had savings. I'm like, what? You had savings to take us through two years. Mm. He's like, yeah, I had savings. And me knowing all this still, I've still come and squandered my money. And he has never asked me for a day in his life of, but I had, I saw you with like, say, five million. Where did it go? Didn't you tell me someone so paid you? He has let me go. 
squander and now I'm back home with zero <laughs> as a prodigal <laughs> child. It was a good back. strategy to let you do your thing. Like, and then return. Yeah. Back. yeah. No, I've come I came back and said, yeah. And my relationship with money, I've actually shared this on Instagram a couple of times. It's fear. I've always feared money. I don't know. I just don't know how to Same. deal with it. Like, I'm not a spendthrift. Mm. I'm not. I'm actually very good at saving, but I don't know what to do with it. Then it's there. Then I'm like, nah, what do I do with it? You prefer right. seeing your zeros in the bank. Eh? I, don't, I don't. It's weird. I don't even want to see them. I even don't like opening my banking app. It gives me anxiety. Mm. So I want to get out. Of, now I'm trying to get out of that fear. And I want to, I want my sitting money to do something. Mm. So now I'm figuring out how to get my sitting money to be doing something. Because I'm going not to even a, I'm not a spendthrift, it's not my challenge. Mm. I don't find it hard to save. I don't, like, I don't struggle with that stuff. I just mm. don't know what to do with the money. Mm. It comes and then it's there. Then I pay rent, then I pay this, then I just need it. Then I'm yeah. like, ugh, I don't want to check my account. Mm. Oh my God, people are growing money. How are they doing mm. it? But I don't want, <laughs> but also I want. Mm. I'm just, so now I'm finally in a place where I'm like, no, no more hiding. You have to, no. Face your money yeah, like this, because you have to have a relationship have to sit with down it. Sit down with money, look it in the yeah. face, and be like, "Let's do this." Yeah, we need to have a relationship. I'm done. I'm, I'm trying to get done with the fear. Yeah. That's too I much. don't know if you you fear remember this during COVID. There was this post of Kanye Mbao, mm-hmm. who she was like, "I, I remember love, it. Lo- money loves me. Give me a yeah. Give mm-hmm. me a yeah." She was saying, "Money I, actually, money is going to love me because I yeah." Of my stories recently when I shared about fearing money, mm. someone responded and said that when they were growing up, mm. they would see that dynamic of like, one time we have, another time and we have nothing, nothing. Yeah. completely, then another time we have, then we have nothing. Mm. So for them, they grew up, like that fear of we must hold every cent we get, mm. we must hold mm. it and hide it. Mm. And I'm like, you know, we have money trauma. Like we're out here with some money trauma. Yeah, yeah. Like we either we don't have enough, one, we don't have knowledge. Then we are fearing because either something yeah. you and like women fear taking off. risks. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. An think, investment I think is really a yeah. large it's scary. It's, it's it's scary. scary. Um so for me I saw two different. My dad was a money maker mm-hmm. and my dad spent you get he was one of those you ask daddy money. Daddy, we don't know when we went to uni, when we call him. So we never lacked with mm. my dad when he had the money. He, mm. he didn't have it at some point. But then my mom was... So I remember, and I think this is, might have been how I became entrepreneur. Mm. My mom would, when we'd, like, when we'd want, let's say, remember those radio cassettes that came about and we went to ShopRite and we saw the one we wanted. Mm. Um, and we told my mom there was a CD player, mm. so we wanted Discman. a CD player. No, 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 Discman. Mm. CD player before the Discman, mm-hmm. the CD player. Mm-hmm. So we'd go. We went to Shoprite. My mom took us. Should we go every Saturday for shopping? Um, to Shoprite. Shop really? Um, so we'd go every Saturday and we'd buy things, and then we could we would see we had the opportunity to see what we wanted. Then we'd say, okay, it was like 200,000. My mom says, you're going to have to work for it. Mm. So the jobs, we had jobs at home that would give you money. So cleaning her room was the most expensive because it was a big room, it was 10,000. Mm. So now me, in my childish wisdom, mm. I was like, okay, if I clean this babe's room five times a day, I will get to 200,000. And finally, my mother accepted it. She, 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 obviously she wasn't, she's, she's an adult, but she sees the reasoning yeah. behind yeah. a child saying, yeah. okay, I will work harder. Yeah. You get, because I, I mean, how many, I, I can't clean it every single day. And if I did, it would take me 20 days, but I wanted mm. it now. Mm. You get it. I, I wanted it now, now. So that's what, that's what my mom. So I'd get on the weekend because during the week we had school. We come back, there's homework, there's no time to wash. So if I do it just once a week, once a week, once a week, when will I ever get my the cassette? And interestingly, I was the one who used to do it. Zerida would just sit there and give me kavos. Um So I would clean her, I would clean her room five times every weekend in a day. On Saturday when we were at home, would come home from, from, from every uh, shenanigans and I'd clean her room five times. Yeah. You get. And she let me be. And I think that might have spoken. I don't know where it came mm. from. Now, my dad and my mom always try to teach us to moderate, mm. moderate. So just because there's the big one and just because you can buy the big one, you don't need to buy the big one. Mm. Just because so she should buy us those with three mm. lollipops. That, mm. Those lollipops that were, were sold at ShopRite. And, but then you can't have each. Mm. You can't all just take your seven lollipops. Mm. First finish one, share one, because we'd all get our own different flavors. So my mom tried to t- 
to help us the balance. Yeah. My dad would undo everything. By the time my father would take us to the supermarket, we would buy whatever we want. Yeah. <laughs> In however big quantity, the man would just go and he would pay. So I had that growing up. Yeah. Um, I had that, that, the that yes, but as money-wise, we were secure. Like even yeah. at the point where I remember I was 16 and our family wasn't doing very well financially and our parents tried to keep us as as secure as possible mm -hmm. as possible we almost didn't we knew it was happening but we didn't feel it mm -hmm. because they tried to keep us keep life for us as normal as possible as, as they possibly yeah. could with what they could um and then i realized that you can actually work for what you want mm -hmm. my mom is on my dad was broke by the time we go to uni mm -hmm. um my mom took us through uni mm -hmm. and that woman worked for us you guys mm -hmm. it's not like she's rich she's not rich mm -hmm. My mother just made sacrifices, so many sacrifices. I won't talk too much about her because mm. she hasn't given me much permission to mm. do it. Mm. But my, she made sacrifices. So learning from both my parents. So my dad gave me that abundance mm. Mm. mindset. And I've always yeah. had an abundance mindset when it comes to money. I will make as much money as I can. Mm. But what now I need to learn, what I was never taught, is how to make your money grow. Yeah. Mm. You get and that's what I'm You've investing. attracted it, oh, my now what? I attract it. Yeah. Mm. So it just goes out. It comes now what? Yes. Yes. Money loves that's the true. way I look, mm. yes. but it hasn't yet decided to stay with to me stay in a long-term relationship. Yeah. You yeah. get mm. So I have learned that you make money. I, the abundant mindset is what brings keeps bringing the money. Mm. So I'm not holding myself in two small, small amounts. Mm. You get I, I let I open the door wide and all of it comes in. I mm -hmm. remember something, the same Ivy posted something about, I can't remember how she put it, but it was something like if you're working on how to minimize your expenses, but you're not working on how to increase income, you're living in a, like, what is it called? Scarcity. Scarcity, whatever. And I was like, is it you screaming at me, sis? Yes. Are you screaming at me? That's me. Because. Like, what do we take out? I don't, like I said, I don't, yeah. I don't spend. But then it's like, what am I doing yeah. to bring in more yeah. or to make yeah. the money that I have? Yeah. And you know the important part, something I read um, this year actually, because I've been reading, ah, let me not lie, I didn't open a book and read, it was an audio book. Um, if you haven't watched, if, I, if you haven't read or listened to mm -hmm. The Richest Man in Babylon, do. It has such amazing money lessons if you get past the <laughs> thick language. <laughs> um, so I've, I learned this this year that your money is supposed to work for you, not you mm. for it. Mm. You get so for me, it, even in my abundance and money would come in, I was working constantly, working, working for it, yes. working for it. Yes. What I have learned this year is your money needs to go back, go out, be the one to go out and work <laughs> and come back, yeah. bring more, go back, come back, bring more. And the thing, another important lesson I've learned is that. We take financial advice from people that have not gained the financial levels we want. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, let's say life insurance person comes and tells you, life insurance, you do it. Mm -hmm. You get it. Yeah. And then another, someone else comes and tells you, um, uh, you know, uh, bonds, uh, or not bonds, um, mm -hmm. what uh, fixed mm -hmm. deposits, you do it. Mm -hmm. You get it. Instead of trying to learn, find out what you want. Mm -hmm. I've learned very much, make your own goals. Mm -hmm. Different from what other people's are. We don't all have to have land mm -hmm. and houses. You get, some people just prefer to be more liquid. You know, have actual money at their disposal. It's not going to take me a month. If I need money, it's not going to take me a month. Also then squatters and all the things. There's so many, mm -hmm. so many nuances to this thing. Yeah. So I've learned, one of the most important lessons I've learned is to Learn from the people that have been where I want to be. Yeah. If you want property, kindly go to, go to Sudil, learn from him. Mm. You know, and instead of taking money advice from people you don't know, yeah. call a financial advisor, a legally, um, you legally certified, trained, yeah. certified mm. financial advisor. Yeah. You get now, I've also realized financial advisors are, are, are attached to financial institutions. Mm. So a bank advi financial advisor is going to give you advice to for how to in invest the, in yes, the bank. get a fixed account there or you something. Go. Yes. So mm. a more... An um, insurance advisor. Uh -huh, it's going to give you a... Exactly. Yes. So you want to find a more... Um, 
neutral mm. Mid- yeah. you get mm. one that benefits like all not from a, yeah. a specific Bank agency now, but boy. from your mm. success mm. Yeah. not from the success of the agency mm. he runs does that make sense yeah. so that's one thing i've really 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 learned mm. as we speak about things that we are learning it just makes me think of the literacy because even as we were talking about about what your mom was doing for you trying to help you did, 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 i never never did i ever yeah. experience any type of learning and honestly yeah. even in schools mm. i don't know if it's different now i don't have children so i don't know what it looks like now mm. but we the millennials here here in this uganda no, I, never I don't know what they were money. telling us about money because yeah. nothing yeah. well we talked about a hard work yes thing. my mom is a hard worker ha- hard work, i learned yes. from her but working but smart but now working what to smart do money? and like okay fine you've now got the money what next nothing just build a house buy a car yeah uh-huh. that's it Nothing that's is. how I go by. Like you build a house, it's just the day you enter that house, it's like, it's like I it's think I've, I've now nailed it. We are done. You're, you're you're you successful period. You realize that oh my god, there are other one million other years. things that yeah. are coming. No, like your life is throwing other things at you. Like Thank it you. doesn't stop yeah. at building the house. You've not graduated after yeah. building the house. Yeah, there's so much. And as we figure out, like okay, now because I think we're all in a place of trying to learn in different ways. We're trying to figure out like how to. Um, have a good relationship with money, how to, that, and we can't do all those things without being literate, unfortunately, because, yeah, a lot of us just, we went in these education systems, we weren't learning much, mm-hmm. we just picked things, uh, literally we're picking things as we go. In the workplace, this one tells you this, okay, we're doing what? Um, and then you need trust the one go. Here. here we are like, buying uh, land. Invest in it. chickens. Invest here, in We're doing mm. pigs. <laughs> we have bought the pigs. Like, literally, we are running around trying to figure out I yeah. don't even know what. Yeah. So it's, I mean, and we have to just talk about this because um, FX Pesa is not just a brand that randomly believed in us. Mm. Um, they also, I, I think, identified a gap. For, I mean, for people like us, you, you would see people like us and think we have figured mm. it out. Mm. But as you can see, no, not exactly. Mm. So because, um, and while they do a lot of things, you know, from trading in, what do they call them? Because I don't like. Stop. Thank you. All those good <laughs> things. Those things don't make sense to me because I'm not literate. Yeah. I'm not literate. I yeah. literally don't even know what it means to trade stocks. Mm. So even so, there's so many things I have to learn before we get there. And FX Pesa wants to give us like a free education on some of those things. I'm mm. taking it as like, oh, what? Let me call it step one, because honestly, these other steps are still small. Yeah. I like a real step one of education. Yeah. Education. But Claire can tell us a little bit more about the FX Pesa thing, because we want to share it with you guys. Yeah. Um, it's not something we want to take advantage of alone. Mm. Please, who shall we go with to the Bahamas? Excuse me, it's lonely at the top. We don't want to be there alone, yeah? We don't want to be rich alone. But anyway, FX Pesa is basically, they have, I'm a panelist mm. because somehow, most they don't make, <laughs> make, make money. So finances are something that is so important to me. Um, building generational wealth, you know, not to refuse generational curses and <laughs> build generational wealth. But what if there were no wealth. generational curses? It's just that. We just didn't have the lit- like that, literacy. That is also there were no cases of like, <laughs> oh, cases. you're, no, I'm you're shook cast in the village, but like, hey, you're cast to be broke. You're broke from grandfather to grandfather to grandfather. <laughs> what if it was just financial mistakes and we're blaming the gods exactly. who are inheriting <laughs> bad ideas? <laughs> blaming poor so, witch um, I'm going to be one of the panelists just mm-hmm. to, to give you a bit of my experience and how I have built what I have built, the little I've built, and how I'm learning. Mm-hmm. And something that I know is extremely important is literacy how will you know how to build your money and how to build generational mm. wealth when you don't know you don't know what you don't know yeah. <laughs> you know so please come join us we will be there i will be a panelist mm. and fx pesa has given us a chance to be in a room full of learning opportunities yeah. opportunities to learn you guys do you know you know i realize that stocks are only talked about by rich people eh I need to, first Why of all, yes, I, do you know stocks? If yeah, you know yeah, stocks, you're back. rich. I you look back be. and I remember at that time, uh, uh, like when I was younger and you were hearing that Umeme is coming up and they were, you know, when they were moving from UEB and Umeme. And like I've had when companies, so it's not like I didn't hear about it. No, when companies, yeah, go public, right? I had, I had remember like when I remember my cousin, you know, by investing in Stanbit, like those days. And now I look back and I'm like, I why didn't have. I do yeah. that? Why didn't I do that? You didn't because know. they were going for as low as, I don't know, like, like you know, 12 shillings or something. You like, know. now, obviously, these companies that I heard of before have grown tremendously. Yeah. And there I am, me. You still you remember have MTN it. recently yeah. did a thing as well? Yeah, we didn't. And people were just there. The educated people were just writing too many paragraphs about it yeah. on Twitter. For us, the rest <laughs> of us. Yeah. And the rest of us. <laughs> In one ear, out the other. 
And you know, it's extremely important. And there's something I wanted to say now I forgot. <laughs> but, oh, um, so we have these things like, remember when cryptocurrency had just come a few mm -hmm. years ago? Now, this is Philip educating me. Uh, he told me about this and people were like, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Mm -hmm. And there's someone, there's a point where I write was $16. Mm -hmm. And someone took out their $16 where each, each, um, Bitcoin was 16, what, six, I don't remember, a very small amount of money. Mm. He took it out. Mm. And now that same Bitcoin is worth $30,000. The one he took out when it was $16, yeah. You get. He took it out over to do what? I don't remember. That story is online. Mm. He was one of the first people to invest in Bitcoin and it was very, very little money. Now it's 30000 for one Bitcoin. Mm. You get. Bitcoin is something, what, these are words that have been talked about by rich people. Mm. As poor people, uh, or not poor people, just illiterate people. Mm. We'd be like, it's a scam, you yeah. know, stocks and whatnot. Mm. We don't know anything about stocks. We've been making money for, I've been making money for at least 12, 13 years now. And yeah, we get and the money and put it in we, the bank. We put and it in the calls bank. You and, you, and then you the bank is banking. giving you a very small, very interest. small, in, in favorable interest. The bank is the one making money from you. You will mm. not make money they're from They're using the your bank. money and loaning it out there over you go. and over. For a high money. interest, and then they're giving you a very small, mm. very small interest on any money you keep with them. Mm. Um, and we are saying, listen, there's so many other ways. You hear those buzzwords in rich people, eh? Bonds. Yeah, bills, stocks, learn about these things. Mm -hmm. Stocks, mm -hmm. trading, crypto, learn. Mm -hmm. Because when it's a gr yeah. certain group of people talking mm -hmm. about it, they have got it there yeah. because... Learn and, yeah, exactly. learn and reject it, but at least learn. Exactly. Like, get that information, consume it, and then put it in your mind like, okay, at least when it's time for me to invest, exactly. I will go the route when of... Yeah, when you're younger. Yeah. Oh, you when guys, I can't believe you have money I wasted. Nah, you, in my, your 130s. You guys... It breaks my heart even. <laughs> it breaks my heart even. Like, and you get a lump sum of money and you... Just, and you have no bills by then. Remember, eh? you're younger. You have no, you have no obligations. You're in your no, parents' just house. So you're not higher. paying rent. Not you literally just spend on fuel and maybe hanging out with your friends. So especially for young people, I hope you take advantage of this stuff. Yeah. And that's sad thing is that you know that when you're younger, you hear these things and you... No yeah, deal. you're like, it's not I me, I still time. have time, yeah. It's only when you're older that you're like, oh, shit, I didn't have time. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Hope so that the you event, make time. the FX Besser, the financial literacy event is on the 12th of August. August. It's on a Saturday at Golf Course Hotel. Um, and we're going to leave a link in the bio in our description box on our pages as well. Go, click the link, register because we need to know how many people are coming so that we can prepare adequately. If there are 500 and 1,000 come, listen, if you're on, please register. Use the register so that we can prepare for you. Come and come learn. We're also learning. We're also no, learning. We're also going to be there. And yeah, we wouldn't have been, if it's not, you guys, generational wealth is something I am. Another thing I'm passionate about yeah. is building money as women, especially. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. women, financial we need to yeah. build that financial independence. That's where men don't just come about just... You know, they, yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're, you're starting from, you have a fighting chance yeah. in this life when you're financially independent and you cannot become financially independent if you don't know how to build your money. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. Join us as we try to leave, leave these things of scarcity. Yeah. We are leaving them behind. Yeah. Please come Let and join us. Let us have a different conversation next year. Oh, Absolutely. another thing. Did you guys know that you can actually walk into the FX Pesa mm -hmm. like any day during the, the week? Yeah. Their office yeah. and they'll give you, they'll teach you. They'll teach you how to trade. They'll teach you about stocks. They'll teach you how yeah. to different for advice for free. So kind of what you get. For free. And these are things that we see when the news is ending. You know, at the end of the news, they put... <laughs> and then you walk out. ZTE. Obambu. Obana. Oba. Yeah. 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 And you see dollar. And you see pound. So they're giving you all the information for free. 100% free. They actually even have, if you want to learn how to trade, they give you, uh, they fund a, a, they, what, a dummy account with $10,000 that you can learn from. It's not your money. Mm. It's money that it's training yeah. so that you don't have yeah, to practice really with your own money, yeah. which for me was like, that's wow. Mm. You know, that's first awesome. you learn. Because, yes, there's scammers, 100%. Yeah, yeah. They, with every industry, even in banks, there's scam. Mm. Um, but if, I love the fact that FX Pesa is willing to give us that training. Every single piece of training that you need to so learn how to, do, how to trade, 
Mm-hmm. Yes, they hold your hand. They give you the money. Test code. Don't test with your own money, friends. Mm. Yeah, come in and let us test their tenth tenth credit. <laughs> Enough said. Enough, Enough said. So Enough I hope said. you guys will be there. Come join us. Don't leave good things behind. Let's See do this you. thing together. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's just leave this life. It's coming, you guys. I can't. I, this can't be me at 40. Mm. No. This actually cannot be me at 40. Yeah. No. It's so easy for you to feel like I'm still in my 30s. I have time. I don't. I no longer feel mm. that mommy. I'm just like, mm-hmm. please, 40 is tomorrow. I'm not doing it. I yeah. can't continue like it's this. So 40 is tomorrow. tomorrow. It's not actually as far yeah. as we think it so is. So I hope you guys will join us. And... Um, Please let us know, by the way, how are you guys doing? Like, how are you feeling with money? Is your relationship what are you even? Yeah, what are you investing in? We'd like to know. Yeah. Where are you are investing? You what are you investing? Space? And maybe your... How is it? Maybe mm. your comments can also inform future yeah. conversations that you guys want to have about yeah. money as we try to figure this thing out together. Mm. Um, so please subscribe for sure. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.